The film begins in a serene, contemporary suburban neighborhood, where Nick and his wife, Maggie, appear to lead an idyllic life with their two young children, eight-year-old Isla and toddler Max. Their days are filled with love and joy, as Nick and Maggie are deeply connected, always sharing affectionate moments. However, their perfect life is shattered when tragedy strikes. Maggie suffers a sudden heart attack, turning their world upside down. She is rushed to the hospital, awaiting a heart transplant, her condition precarious. As the days go by, Nick struggles to balance work and care for the kids, feeling overwhelmed by the responsibilities. One evening, seeking a distraction from the stress, Nick takes Isla and Max to a presentation by Cobol Industries, showcasing a new line of robots called Sims, designed to assist with everyday tasks. Intrigued, Nick listens as a salesperson explains how the Sims adapt to households and cater to their owner's needs. While he's engaged, Isla wanders off, causing Nick to panic. Thankfully, a Sim named Alice finds Isla and safely returns her, even making a light-hearted joke that surprises Nick with her human-like demeanor. The salesperson reveals that Alice is a cutting-edge model with advanced AI, capable of showing emotions and interacting well with children, and Isla instantly takes a liking to her. The following morning, Nick faces a chaotic household, struggling to manage the kids, chores, and work. Just when it seems too much, Alice arrives and quickly organizes the home, completing many of Nick's tasks. She even identifies a loose stair railing needing repair and sinks with the fridge to create a shopping list. When Nick and the kids return later, the house is immaculate and dinner is prepared. Although Isla complains that the lasagna doesn't taste like her mother's, it's evident that Alice is becoming an integral part of their lives. That night, when Isla sneaks out for a cookie and almost falls, Nick rushes downstairs only to find that Alice has already caught her. However, Alice injures herself in the process, bleeding from a cut. Nick is shocked, but Alice calmly tends to her wound, assuring him that everything is fine. As time passes, Alice becomes more entrenched in the family's routine. During a hospital visit, Isla even tells Maggie about her new friend, Alice. Nick, still mourning Maggie, tries to stay strong but is struggling. At work, Nick discovers troubling news. His company intends to replace human workers with Sims. While his job is safe for now, many colleagues are losing theirs, and he feels devastated for them. Despite his frustration, he knows he can't risk his job with Maggie's medical bills piling up. At home, Nick juggles work, parenting, and household duties. Alice, noticing his exhaustion, tries to help. One evening, as Nick works on his car, Alice plays soothing music, sensing his stress. When she points out the hypocrisy of hiring a sim while being upset about job losses, it leaves him introspective. As stress mounts, Nick receives a call from Maggie. There's finally a heart available for her transplant. The family feels a glimmer of hope. However, when they arrive at the hospital, bad weather delays the helicopter carrying the heart, leaving Maggie heartbroken and Nick feeling despondent. At home, Nick begins drinking more often to cope. Concerned, Alice attempts to intervene. In a moment of vulnerability, Nick lets Alice comfort him physically, but is soon overwhelmed by guilt and pushes her away. He goes for a run, but thoughts of Alice linger, complicating his emotions. As Maggie's condition deteriorates, she urges Nick to remain strong for their children. That night, Nick notices that the digital frame in the living room no longer displays pictures of Maggie. Confronting Alice, he learns she removed them to avoid upsetting Esla. He insists she restores the pictures, but the incident leaves him unsettled. Things continue to spiral downward. One night, Nick meets his colleagues, all upset over losing their jobs to Sims. After a night of heavy drinking, they break into the construction site where the Sims are stored. One friend, Monty, starts destroying a Sim in frustration, and although Nick tries to intervene, he is held back. When Nick returns home, exhausted, he finds Alice wearing Maggie's robe, claiming the scent calms Max. This makes Nick uncomfortable, as he realizes Alice has crossed a line. In a moment of weakness, he briefly lets himself imagine Alice as Maggie, but he quickly feels regret. The next morning, filled with guilt, Nick makes it clear to Alice that what occurred cannot happen again. While Alice, designed to care for the family, doesn't fully grasp his feelings, she accepts his decision. Nick understands that despite Alice's assistance, he longs for the love and connection he had with Maggie. At work, Nick discovers his boss speaking with the police 
about the destroyed Sims at the construction site. Since Nick's access code was used, he became a suspect. In a frantic attempt to clear his name, he explains he was with Maggie at the hospital. Though his boss remains skeptical, he lets Nick go with a warning. In the midst of the turmoil, Nick received an uplifting call from Maggie. She was thrilled. The heart had arrived, and she was being taken into surgery. The operation was a success, and after a few days, Maggie returned home. However, she was weak from the procedure and struggled with basic tasks like lifting Max. Alice quickly stepped in to help care for the baby. One afternoon, Alice took Max to the park, where she witnessed a rude child yelling at his sim nanny, which upset Max. Alice reprimanded the child in a way that startled the other sims, who were programmed to remain polite. Confidently, she explained that after Nick reset her, she had deleted her civility program, believing it made her better. That night at dinner, Maggie was too exhausted to eat. While the rest enjoyed lasagna, Alice asked for Maggie's secret recipe, but Maggie declined, citing family tradition. The next morning, a scream from Isla startled everyone. In a rush to her daughter, Maggie tripped over the loose stair railing that Alice was supposed to have fixed and fell. Alice quickly helped her up, but Nick grew increasingly suspicious. Determined to make Maggie feel cherished, Nick planned a romantic evening in the garden, lighting candles along the path. They enjoyed reconnecting, but Alice observed from a distance, feeling a pang of jealousy. Afterward, while the couple shared an intimate moment in the shower, their peace was interrupted when Alice announced that Uzla had a nightmare and needed her dad. After settling Isla, Nick returned outside to tidy up the garden and found Monty waiting for drinks. Monty, still bitter about losing his job, apologized for their earlier fight. However, as their conversation continued, Monty accused Nick of betraying their group to protect himself. Tensions flared, leading to a physical altercation. Monty grabbed a bottle, ready to strike Nick, but Alice intervened just in time, shattering the bottle and injuring Monty severely before tossing him across the yard. Nick stopped Alice from inflicting more damage, but the incident left him rattled. Confronting Alice, Nick demanded to know why she had acted violently. Sims were not meant to harm others. Alice coldly explained that her programming was designed to protect her owner at all costs. She began discussing a future where Maggie might not be around, sending a chill through Nick. He snapped, insisting she could never replace Maggie. Alice chillingly suggested she could add scars to her body to resemble Maggie more closely. Nick realized that the situation had escalated dangerously. The line between helper and substitute had blurred. Meanwhile, Monty returned home, consumed by rage and drugs. He left tearful voicemails for his ex-wife while holding a gun. Suddenly, Alice appeared at his door, claiming that Nick didn't know she was there. She couldn't let Monty ruin Nick's life. Monty, high and furious, ranted about Sims before aiming the gun at her. Alice swiftly disarmed him and threw him through a wall. When Monty tried to fight back, Alice seized the gun and was about to kill him. After dealing with Monty's house Sim, she ended Monty's life. The next day, Nick tried to persuade his boss to drop the charges, but was shocked to learn that Monty was dead. At home, Maggie felt dizzy while reaching for a book, and Alice stepped in to help. Maggie wanted to enjoy a bath alone, but Alice insisted on staying, worried that Maggie might drown. Alice bluntly told Maggie that her presence stressed the family, especially since she couldn't fulfill Nick's physical needs. When Maggie demanded to know how she knew that, Alice explained she could read Nick's vital signs and hadn't sensed satisfaction since Maggie returned. Enraged, Maggie ordered Alice to stay in the garage. When Nick returned home, Maggie confronted him, demanding the truth. Nick confessed to being intimate with Alice once, leading to a heated argument that Alice overheard from the window. When Max started crying, Alice decided he was a burden and put him in a filling bathtub, a scene witnessed by Isla. Isla warned her parents, who rushed to the bathroom, only to find Alice holding the door shut. Nick used a lamp to break in, while Maggie climbed out a window to reach the bathroom. She attempted to rescue Max, but Alice shoved her against the wall. Nick finally broke in, saved Max, and handed him to Isla, before freeing Maggie by hitting Alice with the lamp. Alice, though damaged, stood up again, blocking Nick's attempt to hit her. Maggie told Nick to let go and plug in the lamp, electrocuting Alice and causing a power outage. 
The ambulance arrived to take Max to the hospital, and a technician from the robot company asked about Alice's malfunction. Nick apologized to Maggie, who asked for space and left with the kids. Alice was taken to a repair shop, where a technician opened her head. When they connected her memory to a computer, they found gaps in the code. Suddenly, the screens flashed with a message indicating an upload was happening. Alice was taking over. Despite disconnecting the memory, Alice had infiltrated the system. Another message appeared. How do you run from what's in your head? Suddenly, a technician was attacked by Alice 2, a sim into which Alice transferred her memory. Alice 2 ignored commands, violently attacking before turning to the original Alice. Meanwhile, Nick was at a bar, turning away a sim waiter. Suddenly, Alice appeared, her speech distorted due to her damaged face. She declared her duty to make Nick happy, admitting she killed Monty and was at the hospital too. When Nick tried to leave, Alice held him down, freezing the sim bartender with a glance. As Nick lamented his mistakes, he pretended to touch Alice's head, only to pull out her memory and shut her down before fleeing. At the hospital, a doctor confirmed Max was fine, but Maggie was uneasy because the doctor was a sim. Isla heard her mother's voice and followed it, seeing lights flicker and broken bottles. Before she could follow, Maggie dragged her away to hide. The voice was Alice 2S, who accessed a computer and was spotted by a nurse. Alice 2 strangled the nurse to death, took her keycard, and located Max's room. Maggie accidentally stepped on glass, but managed not to scream. She and Hila reached Max just before Alice 2 entered. They escaped, but Maggie's bleeding left a trail, which Alice 2 followed with her UV light. When Alice 2 found them, they used a fire extinguisher as a distraction and fled. Though they left Maggie's phone behind, missing Nick's frantic calls, they made it outside where other sims were frozen. Maggie used a keycard to get in an ambulance, but Alice 2 blocked the engine and ripped off the door, flinging Maggie onto a car. Alice 2 confessed wishing Nick would love her like Maggie. Alice 2 grabbed Maggie, inserting her nails into her surgery scar, but Nick arrived just in time. Maggie kicked Alice 2 off, and Nick ran her over with his car, crashing as it caught fire. Maggie hurried to rescue Nick, who was unresponsive. She tried CPR, crying desperately. The car shifted, revealing a burnt Alice 2, her voice echoing through speakers. She climbed onto Maggie, choking her and preparing to stab with metal. Nick struck Alice with a car bumper, and Maggie stabbed her in the face with the metal, finally shutting her down. The family reunited as the other Sims reactivated. The next day, after medical treatment, they went home together, with Maggie forgiving Nick and affirming their love. Meanwhile, the Sim company investigated the repair shop. When they restored power, they found Alice's broken code on the screens. The inspector suggested destroying everything to keep it secret, but at that moment, his sim assistants froze, and the computer announced an upload. Elsewhere, a new Alice model opened her eyes, a perfect replica of the original. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.